I mean, they're all up right now. Um, I mean, if you put them all in the background, it's really not a big deal. Uh, anyway, shows you back. We got a gun down here. We're going to continue Angels with Scaly Wings. The last stream, just in case you're watching this on YouTube, we, uh, we beat the game, quote unquote. We got an ending. But there's multiple endings and there's a lot of time travel elements, so oh, cool. we're just going to go ahead and Should continue your... All about it. Did your journey, journey, Chrono? I don't even get to put in my name this time around. <gasps> what the fuck? Doom. What the heck? Trauma. <laughs> Chapter one. <clears throat> I'm just gonna head and put that skip button now. Nope. Gonna... I don't think you can yet. There we go. Okay, let's see here. So we're gonna romance Bryce and try to get a uh, a good ending here. I woke from uneasy dreams looking at unfamiliar ceiling. An unfamiliar ceiling just for a moment. I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. After a good stretch, I looked around the room, illuminated with the sunlight coming in from the window. Outside the distance, a poor lad emerged from proudly stood on the peak of the small hill. Getting ready, I noticed something lying on the table. A note from Ruby had left. Do -do -do. I did all read this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did I? <clears throat> Can you this know? was the like, first stream. Okay. It was basically. Yeah, because I, I was clicking events. skip mode. Why is he bl he's blushing? Yeah, it's Joey! You said that last time, yeah, too. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, why is he blushing? Well, hello, you must be Kano. Okay, I'm Sebastian, and I'll be do, your escort. Do you uh, have to do, do have to hold it? command, or, like... I think you can also just press the, like, little fast-forward button. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, I'll do that then. It's not... Wait a minute. Kiss his hand. Shake his hand. Oh, yeah. No. I don't know. Maybe. Kunai with chain! I gotta shake his hand, I guess. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. It's not letting me. What the heck? Straight oh. to business, eh? We're going to visit the plant where we were making the generators. We have some news for you, or so I've heard. Reza will be there, too. Sounds great. Just follow me. Are you sure you're hitting the right buttons? It says skip mode. Control and tab yeah. is what they said. Hmm. I don't know. Um, maybe annoying. it just won't let me skip just now. Anyway, this is stuff we've seen before. Yeah. People aren't familiar with me. There's Reza next to Maverick. You just get to see all the introductions. Hey, hey. bitch. Reza, long time no see. Yeah, it, it just won't let me do it. Okay. Good to finally see another human face. I remember, like, the achievements gotcha. for your, like, when you... the. Oh, they got glitched! Yeah, and they just stopped, like, they didn't work, so maybe, like, it messed up and oh! doesn't think that you did this part for some reason, so... Yeah, maybe. I'm just gonna click through it, then. Um, I bet you went in a fight with mine? No. Oh. Oh, so it just might be Talking about... Um, just like Maverick. you, right, gotcha. Very funny. Very hey, funny. Yeah, because, um, the last time... Remember when I did all the puzzles in my apartment, and I got an achievement for, like, looking at everything? Mm -hmm. And finding the stuff in the fridge or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I loaded a save, and then my achievement went away. It's as if I didn't do that. Uh, yeah, they got the fucking female logo on the. It's just a human female. Like the dragon's like, yeah, we'll build a restroom and put the the symbol as a human female, something we've never seen before. Hey, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Yeah. It's me. You remember my name, <laughs> right? Wait a minute, question mark. Anna, Anna. gotcha. Hi, of course, Anna. <laughs> I'm gonna get in the bye. Bye. Watch oh. the first stream if you want the story, because it's all the same. Ah, sure, why not? <laughs> Great. <laughs> She's blushing. I guess I made a good decision. And got a <laughs> thing. Your blood. Wow, here's a blood. <laughs> she asked for blood? Right, so just, yes, I gave the yes. blood to her, yeah. I'll tell you what to pick since I'll just. Okay, you good, 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 good. Uh, they, say, they say, no wait, it was maybe he just likes you a lot. and then he Maybe he just anything. likes you a lot. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, fuck off. <laughs> Hi, and then you say, oh, oh it's, it's a dragon. He's like, tee -hee. <laughs> That's a good one. Scrambled eggs and bacon. Oh, yeah. And me too, and then Rizzo doesn't eat it. And, um, well, now this is where you could say something different if you want. He's like, something's weird about this place. Yeah, I've and noticed it to too. Yeah. Uh, and then he's a charming fellow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Here's your eggs. 
Now shoo, scaly face. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Bacon and eggs, though. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm hungry. Are you done? <laughs> oh, boy. I sure still can't skip. Woo! It's Spyro. What? <clears throat> He's a purple dragon. I don't know. It's pink. It's not even close. Whatever. The remake, they're going to make him pink. Okay. I wonder why she keeps showing up. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, of course, law, no, as long as I don't have to pay the bill. Ha ha ha. Ha ha, how nice of you. That was like the tipping thing. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> I tipped on your behalf. That's good. And you were like, yeah, because I believe in tipping. I like some people. Sorry. <laughs> I'm passionate about that. It's my livelihood or something. Wow, right, this is so can... intriguing, and I love you reading read all it. The books and you can drink the mysterious white liquid in the... I should do that. I should do that to get the achievement, I guess. Because I already did that. it. He's giving me the fuck me eyes. <laughs> the CG art looks so different. It looks like it a does. Really, like, kind of like, it looks really kind of feminine there. And then he's like feminine like, and anthro and everything. And he's like, hey, I'm a cartoon. Like, I'm Disney Channel's mascot. I'm Laura Remember Burrow. Dragon Tales? I was a reject. I'm sad now. No, no, I'm really sad. But no, I'm happy. No, I'm neutral. Anyway. No, I'm thinking, no, I'm happy again. I'm well, neutral. Joey, what are you sweating about? No, I'm happy. To give you the fuck me eyes too. <laughs> yeah, he always gives people the fuck me eyes. Just okay. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> yeah, I've already read all this. The game is just not allowing me to skip because of a glitch. Um, this should be going by a lot faster. Read between the lines. I think I know his meaning. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Flee what? through the portal as soon as possible. This is what I think his letter's about. No, that's not it. Okay. Oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Show more options. Have a pizza party. Oh my god. Find out where Maverick lives. Break him to the manufacturing plant. Show more options. Uh, what am I deciding on here? I don't even know, I think actually. Just, but I am unable to decode the message. I think those are all just, like, joke answers. Okay. Look somewhere else for hints. Gotcha. Yeah. And like the book bookshelf. Book read all the books. Individual book. Uh, sorry. Like, like, yeah. Individual book. Draconic Desire. Yeah, and I thought... read this, and it was like, oh, I was young, but you even... And it's just like, wow, people read this schlock. <laughs> Assault on the hu for, of the humanoids for outer space. It's got the picture of a cat on the front. Do they even know what a cat is? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Born yeah, to yeah, serve. This is, uh, this is I like got an autobiography from like a rich family. Okay, price and prayer. <clears throat> this is something else. Po uh, Politographical. Mo okay. Something about sentience. And then the X -Men Spear. Sphere. And how to use it. You don't know anything about this. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Okay. There's nothing. <laughs> he read a bunch of books. Go back. Look behind the books. I don't think anything happens, but whatever. Do it anyways. I'm just doing it, I guess. <laughs> go back. Go back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Look in the no, kitchen. Okay. Wait, no, go back. Go oh, wait, back. go back. Uh, bathroom. Go to the bathroom. <clears throat> Look inside the cabinet. cabinet. Uh-oh. Yeah. Take a peel. Paint. Pop some peels. Peels yeah, here. I remember that. <laughs> Hmm. I'm just pops Take another one. Take some. <laughs> Again? All right. <laughs> like it's cushy. Like what are you doing? I'm feeling Take strange. Someone. Take another one. I suppose one more can't hurt. Can't hurt because my pain. They're pain meds. <laughs> <laughs> God. And game over. Yeah, Bad end. Achievement unlocked. You Chrono <laughs> dies live on stream. <laughs> How long was I gone? I didn't think the whole bottle of pain medication would somehow help with my search. <laughs> Take some pain medication. This was not a good idea. Okay, system. Look at the shower. <clears throat> no shampoo. Blah, 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 blah. Kitchen now. Kitchen, and then fridge. Fridge. And then look at the meat. Look at the milk. Crack an open egg and look inside. <laughs> crack an open egg and look inside. <laughs> I forgot. Let's crack, crack open another egg. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? <laughs> Just all of them. Weird. 
They don't even have dozens in the future. Or past. In the past year. Huh. Those are all of them. Guess I just wasted a per perfectly good batch of eggs. You wasted a perfectly good batch of eggs. Unlabeled container, yeah. Some sort of white liquid inside. Well, here goes nothing. It's salty. <laughs> you drank a mystery liquid. <clears throat> yep. You drank Bryce's <laughs> liquid. Anyway. Date. Hey, if I put it on the floor, I'd be going Fig? on a date. Fig. Uh, figure of speech, figuratively yeah. speaking. Pear. Grape. Grape. Lemon. <gasps> Lemons. I get it. Invisible notes. I remember oh, that. Yeah. <clears throat> when I got outside, that was come. Good one. <laughs> that's that's I mean, not what was implied at all. No. <laughs> Can we not skip no. now? What the fuck? I think you went a little bit further. Ah. Uh, what did you just expect? Like, well, you like didn't you make it, it easy. Like Guess I did. It. You read my note. What a wonderful night it is. Look at the stars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taylor, do you know what's uh, you know what's going on here? Yeah, I know. Obviously. You know what you gotta do, right? How'd you find out? Well, you know. And then, oh god. It's Maverick! Wait, listen. Gun. Oh! Gun. Oh god, my shotgun gun didn't pick this. Oh god. Reza, what are you doing? Come on, Grudo! Make a run for it! Oh, what hip check! <clears throat> Still watching you. Don't fucking move. Uh oh, it's your boy Bryce! There he is! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> He's I'm our back boy! From the dead. <laughs> hey, kid, you alright? Oh god, I'm alright. <laughs> I think I'm alright. I'm Bryce, the chief of police in this town. Can you tell me what happened? He just shot Maverick and ran off. Uh. Yeah, just say that. Yeah. That's a little more pertinent information. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Can you walk? Let's go, Crown. Let's get you up. Let's get you back to your house. You're going to go to sleep now. Sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> chapter 2. No, wait, not yet. Not yet, Chapter 2. Yeah, no. Ding dong! It's me, your boy! It's your boy Bryce! Back from the dead! There's a dead person that we... I got the scars on my neck from that explosion! That's the spoiler! <laughs> Whoops. Something oh happened, I got blown back in the <laughs> next Tuesday. Still can't, still can't skip. I don't know what I picked just now. Whoops. <clears throat> you probably... Oh, uh, that's fine. I can't go back now. It's too uh, late. You can also get a, another achievement if you just keep on... Doing this, going murder, uh -huh. crime scene, your cooperation. If you say I respectfully decline, say that. He's like, come on, don't be a bitch. I implore you to reconsider. And if you do this 98 more times, you'll get another achievement. <laughs> really? Are you serious? Yeah. I suppose I'll just have to keep asking you until you change your <laughs> mind. But I mean, you can. I should probably not care about the achievements here. Fuck it. Well, I will help you. Really I'm just gonna keep asking, so you might as well just fucking say yes. It's ridiculous. I think it's like kind of a middle point when it when you're able to skip. I'm assuming because like I think you went a good like the chap. I think you were like kind of in the middle of chapter two oh, yeah. when yeah. it fucked up. So well, okay. What are well, all the right choices here? You just pick it all really fast. Oh man! Oh wait! <laughs> yeah, rip! You should have gone done the voice for that. Oh. Or the, oh, the for rip. Line. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Oh. The... oh, here we go. Self-voicing enabled. Chrono, well, he's definitely dead. Bryce, yeah, rip. <laughs> yeah, rip. <laughs> oh god, I gotta hear this. I forgot about that. Self-voicing <laughs> disabled. <sighs> yeah, rip. <laughs> oh my god. No. No! no. no. <laughs> Investigation! Stato! <clears throat> Alright, back to where we're going. Alright. So now you just pick for the best. Yeah, so then you can actually skip this next time. What are they telling you? Uh, sharp implement. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, it so could've been done. It's, it's, uh, could have been used someone who has hands. That's one of the, that's a good answer. Okay. Because it just means that's that... Right. Only those who are talking too late. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, this rules out most of bigger dragons and flyers. <clears throat> Race has what is it called again? You mean it's gun? Why did he kill him with a knife and gun on him? Because he didn't want to make any noise. I think it'd be a good reason. By the way, which one do you think is the most lethal one? Uh, the neck. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Chest? Neck, yeah. 
Okay. This is now I'm like, gross. That so, <laughs> he's the one that's like, that's right, if all the blood <coughs> wasn't a giveaway, the stab wound characterized by the small... Yeah, the blood is pulled from the neck and not from the chest. Uh-huh. What else do you see? Lots of blood. Blue blood. <laughs> he died here. Uh, he died here. He had AIDS. <laughs> what? Uh, he died here. Yeah, he died here. He's a hemophiliac. Small ones on the wings, that's how he died. <laughs> Objection! Excuse me? I just always wanted to say that. Go on, please! I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm just gonna fucking ignore this blood on the mouth. You tell me. He was a vampire. A vampire! He fought back, vampire. He fought back? <coughs> fought back. Perpetrated blood. Yeah. 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 I think that's about everything. Investigation over. Yay. You know what, kid? I'm impressed. Maybe we should have you around more often. You did well on the first investigation. Investigator one, yeah! Ah. Okay, back to Skip. Back hey, to... Chief. Back, yet. back, back, okay. Of course. Oh, it's you! Well, oh. I'm a... <laughs> Go away. I'm, I'm a you. you. Ha ha ha, it's Croto. Hmm. God. So you looks like you're on the force now, huh? Looks like, like it. Looks like it. Looks like it. Yeah. Clung you off there. I don't think you're quite there yet. By the way, doesn't matter. Scrambled eggs are pretty scrambled good. Scrambled eggs are good. And he's like, <clears throat> I'm flirting. Yeah, you're supposed to be flirting with me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're mine, this place. <laughs> you're mine. We're gonna take it all the way. You belong to me, Bryce. Yeah. This boy. <laughs> you maverick. You're off the case. Shutting gun. Bye. Shutting gun. Sasuke! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I might be too if I was shot. So he finds whatever Reza before he does. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. It's like, yeah, and then it goes like, woo, and then you next to the apartment, and then meet with Bryce. Bryce. Yeah. Okay, now maybe we can probably was... skip, right? Maybe, mm. let's see. It might tell you, maybe not. Maybe no. it was glitching. So I just go, Kona, what's up? And then it's like, you want to meet me for a drink? And it's like, just say, let's go. Let's go. No, oh, go away. <laughs> this is where we first discovered the voice to text. Yeah. Here we are. He definitely then, did yeah, all this, it though, would, yeah. It would say, like, you've already done this. Okay, what's the good way to drink here? Just, uh, like, me too. Me too. It's just pretty much just to go along with it. And then you... Because I know that there's the drinking competition. Yeah. Is there, there's a point so. where I should stop, yeah? <clears throat> no, Instead I of you just keep going. But I did that I last think, time, didn't I? Yeah, but I think it glitched, so it just didn't. It's not like letting you skip. Yeah. It no, I mean, you, you like, isn't there a different? Is there a different outcome if I don't drink? I think the he just kind of gets annoyed. He's just like, all right, fine, whatever. <laughs> so I just just keep going until I black out. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I thought that it's was just, like not the right thing to do. He's like, oh, you shouldn't drink more than you can. I'm no, in. He's just, he just was like, oh, let's have a competition. But then if you stop, he's just like, all right, I win. Cool, bye. Let's and burn some brain cells. That's your mistake. I never give up. We'll see about that. see about that, bitch. Sh shut up! S, shut up. S, shut up. No, yeah. S, S, shut up! up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Self-voicing enabled. S, shut up. <laughs> S, shut up. <laughs> S, shut up. Self-voicing disabled. Uh, heck no. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> oh, heck no. That's not a blush. All right, it's a buzz. I'm not buzz. It's either one doesn't really matter. Uh, that's not a blush. I'm sure it isn't. How can I not love this? <laughs> See how much you love it when you're br drunk under the table. Oh boy. Yeah, we definitely took advantage of voice to text during all this. <laughs> yeah. You know how it goes. What I do? Oh, that's the waiter. Right, that's the guy you voice. Oh, right. Oh, I'm an OC. Bye, OC. Nice to see ya. <laughs> Never nice again. So. OC Thanks ya. Money. Uh, let's see. I, I may have underestimated this. Whichever. Let's see how you do. Uh, don't know if we're we have a little uh, fun, doesn't hurt, yeah? Uh oh. <laughs> it's like, hey. Oh boy. Face gets all weird. <laughs> How are you holding up? Good luck, bye. Good luck. 
It's yours. All right. Now it's yours. <clears throat> Uh, you wish. Oh. Can I ask a question? Why are you brown? Why are you Sam? Don't damn attractive. Not nothing more to say about it. There we go. Wait the next round. You boys better fucking stop. <laughs> you boys better just start fucking already. I think it's. I think you just say mine because he just mine. basically says it's yours anyways. Good. So your move, chief suckers, you scaly bastard. <laughs> the first time I could see something in his eyes, though, <laughs> was a disbelief or insecurity. Uh-oh, you're cute. I like you. I really do. But I sure as heck am not going to let you win. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Bryce thinks I'm cute. <laughs> Bryce. And there I go. Bryce! Oh. <laughs> Scream as I hit the floor. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, you okay? You fell down. You look kind of messed up. We've all seen this before. I'll mess you up <laughs> if you don't get your face out of my face. I you just say, like, yeah. Yeah. Fun. Bring it Bring on. Get it out. <laughs> Actually, you know, you were, once you're lying on the ground, you better stop. Does that mean I win? I didn't say that. <laughs> and the waiter's just like, you know what? Fuck you guys. Get yeah. the fuck out. Wait a minute. What is it? I don't care. And it's just say, fine. Fine. And then you splash water on his face. <laughs> then you piss on him and he wakes up because he's what? like, wow, it's my fetish. <laughs> wow, it's <laughs> just, hey, it's just Bryce, like fucking... water sports is your fret fetish? Oh, no. You're... That's weird. Yeah. Huh. Oh, and then you see his arms. Look at his anthro arms. Look this is so awesome. weird. Yeah, because definitely feral. You're savvy. Good morning. Wake up, fatty. Yeah. So terrible. Jesus. Anyway, we're not. Are we still not able to skip? Nope. <clears throat> I, think I think I need to get to the point where I saved. Yeah. Yeah, we might be kind of. I will never oh. stop. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I think. I guess you can. I do well deserve rest since yeah. you're just gonna go for. Right. Right. Uh, whatever. Oh, cool. cool. There uh, we go. Now you're good. Well, yes, I want to skip ahead, as you wish. Whoop. Yeah, it was just the second day. Uh, oh. So you can actually, I mean, I guess since you didn't, I think the little things you did last time were... I did the Tatsu Park. And then you did the production facility. So you didn't do the grocery store and the library. So, you, I mean, you can do those if you want to just see them. I guess, uh, did I do the grocery store, like, as a later part, though? Yeah, you did it during, like, the third investigation. But I didn't do the library. <clears throat> or at least nobody was there when I went there. Please observe silence at all times. All right, Razor, what did you want here? Hey, it's Remy. I already told you, it's not here. Who's he talking to? A Dean? Would you help out an old friend? Friend, this is the first time you spoke to me in years. Oh, boy. Backstar. <laughs> Whose fault is that? For you, I didn't even exist these last few years. At least I tried to reach out to you. Uh-oh. No, you're just here because you want something. Also, since your shirt is only a fucking collar, you'd think it wouldn't be wrinkled. <laughs> I thought he actually... Or unless it is a shirt. I don't think it is. I think it's just a tie and like a weird like yeah, collar. Just a, it's like a fucking <laughs> Scooby-Doo situation. Yeah. Wait, is it Scooby-Doo? Right <laughs> I'm thinking of? Scooby-Doo doesn't wear a tie. Who am I thinking of? That wears just a tie. It's uh, a Hanna-Barbera character. Scooby-Doo or something? Shit. Uh, Scooby-Doo. Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about, though. Yeah. She was my friend, too, you know. Yogi Bear. I think you should. Yogi! Learn. Yogi Bear! He wears just a tie on nothing. Anyway. Yeah, I think you, sh I think you should leave. Oh! For what it's worth, I'm sorry for everything. Uh oh. It's a little late for apology. <clears throat> Have it your way, then. Burp. Burp. Okay. Aiden stormed out so quickly she didn't even notice me. You didn't realize it, or you didn't see it. Uh, uh, Aideen was like, something, something. She was my friend, too, you know. Oh, I, I think I accidentally skipped that. Yeah. Whoops. I waited a few <clears> moments <throat> and wondered if it was a good time to talk to Remy in the end. I decided the task was too present to come back at another time. I shuffled through the books and tried to look busy until I noticed he resumed his work so I could approach him. Hello, Chrono. How can I help you? Has Razor been here recently? What did Aideen want from you? <laughs> uh, Razor, <laughs> He visited quite often since he arrived, actually, until a few days ago, that is. Do you know what he was reading? 
Bye, Cyan. Bye, Cyan. You're going to miss Bryce stuff <laughs> again. Oh. Oh, <laughs> also, by the way, you left last night, like right before we did something with Bryce, and it was like we ended the stream right after that. Yeah. So if you want, you can just watch the YouTube video and watch five minutes of stuff. Anyway. Like, I don't want to. I don't want <laughs> to. <laughs> Not particularly. I thought he just wanted to learn about our world. Did you notice anything unusual about him while he was here? Can't say I did, though he did ask me for a map once. A map? Yes, I showed him a few, but none of them seemed to be what he was looking for. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> did he talk to you about anything strange <laughs> while he was here? Besides the maps, nothing else is worth mentioning comes to mind. Only the usual pleasantries. Pleasantries? What did Dean want from you? Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. Huh. <laughs> All right. Cool. Pleasantries, right. This might be butting in, but... Wait, you were here that whole time? Oh, his ears are blushing, too. Yeah. Not the whole time, <laughs> just long enough to know it's, that something's up. It's nothing that concerns you. Come on, it does concern me. I know you and I know Aideen. Do I? It's no. really nothing of great importance. Are you aware of a certain prehistoric underground building we recently discovered? I've heard of it. I've been there. She I mean... wanted a blueprint of it. I'm just going <laughs> to bypass that. <laughs> <clears throat> Which was one of the things found inside the building during an investigation. Why would you have it? We're not just a library, you know, but a whole archive that stores all sorts of information and objects. We need to get Cyan a Bryce Duck in Makura. <laughs> that would be perfect. Oh my god. In any case, a blueprint is the kind of thing that would be placed in our care eventually. Just he thinks you have it. Even if we did, it wouldn't be something we could just give out to anyone. Of course. <clears throat> That's all. Thanks for your help. Bye. You're welcome. Have Bye. Another fire Shh. extinguisher. Alright, so now... Grocery store... Yeah, you can go I'll do it. I'll do it first day. <clears throat> see if there's anything yeah. different. If not, this must be the store Raz has been shopping at. All right. Look at that. I'm pressing it's skip. I'm pressing skip, but it's not letting me. Um. I think this is slightly different. The expiration's expired. Okay, you're talking for him. I can feel it like this, and you tell your parents to visit the doctor so he can write a new one. All right, he mentioned this specific situation. Yeah. She and turned around, she nearly like running crying. into me. Yeah, she suddenly bolted towards the door. Hello, Chrono. How can I help you? Wait, aren't you the bartender from the other day? That I am. Did you have fun that evening? Yeah, it was all right. <clears throat> my eyes were closed then. <laughs> you know, you could do more. You can do more in the bar than just getting drunk. Oh, really? I could show you some time if you want to. Oh what? boy, is that an invitation? Well, if you put it that way, it kind of is. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, how can I help you? Ah! Uh, <laughs> okay. Who was that? <coughs> you mean the girl? That's Vara. She comes here occasionally to pick up her mother's prescription. Ah, uh, okay. Do you remember Razor coming here? Of course I do. It's only been a few days since he was last here. That will sound a little unusual, but can you tell me what he bought? Are you just talking about the last time or every time he came here? Both, I suppose. He came in here more than once? He's been visiting pretty regularly, now that I think about it. Interesting. I can look up his purchases if you like, you fucking snoop. That would be really helpful. Shouldn't, Shouldn't be, be too hard, just give me a second. Sorry. I can't remember. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> I want you to carefully <laughs> navigate the registers button. Give me a second. <laughs> are you going to do anything? Soon, followed by the sound <clears throat> of an attached printer. Here you go, receipts from all his purchases. I'd say store clerk instead of his name if we know his name, right? Or do we not? I don't think I don't think you know his name yet. Ah. Uh, just like a waiter and then I you learned his name during um barbecue. Zong or something? Zong, yeah. yeah. Well that was easy. Oh, that makes it even worse that his eyes were closed at the fucking restaurant. Or the <laughs> bars. Because I like that's what Shoji said. I think I remember that. Yeah. I like, guess like they were all always closed, they weren't open. Hmm. Kind of like a Chinese thing, though. Hmm. I think it's more of just like a waiter thing. Just like, hello, sir. So I, I guess. <laughs> but since our government takes care of all his purchases, they're filed separately. It was simple to pull them up. Looks like he bought mostly food and snacks, sometimes magazines. Oh, what kind of magazines are these? <laughs> Why was he buying lemons every <clears throat> single time? 
I can't say that I didn't notice, but I figured it was just a human thing. It's for the decoding thing, you fool. Strange, in any case, that was more information than I expected. You have my thanks. You're welcome. Just browsing for now. Let me know if you need anything. Bye. What am I even looking for? <laughs> uh, look at the bread selection. Okay. It was a surprisingly <laughs> big selection. I actually was noticing this in the background. It's all <laughs> bread. Mm -hmm. Since when do dragons eat bread, anyway? I guess at least I'm covered in case I will want any melon bread what wait at least i'm covered in case i want any melon bread okay uh Take you uh oh what the fuck <laughs> oh no she's wearing a nintendo labo what the heck? What the goddamn? <laughs> she looks like a platypus are you talking to me <laughs> yes what do you say melon or lemon bread i mean the only difference between the two is like one letter so how am i supposed to choose uh i don't think that's how it works why don't you just go with one you you like think you'll like more? A fucking dairy. <laughs> That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, she's one of the, she's special. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, see, gotcha. Was that a cardboard box on her head? Oh good. Who would have thought that dragons are big on produce? I don't even recognize some of these. Look at the meat. Meat, of mm. course, lots and lots of meat. Fresh meat, smoked meat, cur <laughs> cured meat. Dried meat, prepackaged meat, prepared meat, ready to eat meat, re meat snacks, burgers, kebab, nuggets, whole hams, bacon, meatloaf, sausages, sausages. <laughs> There's so many sausages, <laughs> and that's not even all of it. Needless to say, they've got that area covered. Sausage. Health aisle, everything from food supplements to skin care and even birth control. Variance product sizes are astounding, especially when talking about the birth control. <laughs> oh, really into this. I think these ones could fit on my arm. Jesus. What? All right. Are you talking yeah. about the contents? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Contraceptives, yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> they just they just made a big dick joke. Oh <laughs> my god. I think Bryce is going to be disappointed. Oh boy. Bryce is like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what is this? This is what this was all led up to? Uh, hey, Epsilon. Oh my god. Enough browsing. Yeah. I should go <laughs> back start. to what I came here for. Oh my god. I looked at everything the store has to offer. Window shopper achievement. Leave. You're looking at the uh, big old dragon condoms we got? Suppose that's all I can do here. We got extra large, extra, extra large, extra, extra. My records indicate you've already experienced. I that so casually, too. Satisfactory <laughs> mode, yeah. Oh, it's in my arm, gosh. Skipping ahead, as you wish. Anyway, he says you had some information for us. What did you find? Nothing. The receipts you got are interesting. There might be something more to them. Or they could be a useless record for his eating habits. You never know what you might find out about a person, their habits, or their plans this way. The map in the library, I don't know what to think about that. Could have needed to map the plan something, I suppose, but who knows what he really wanted to do with it. It's the kind of detail on its own. Might not tell us much, but it must be crucial later on. Oh, sorry, it's just, you're supposed to be talking. <laughs> Whoops! I thought I was I was just skipping this. We've already done this. Right? Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Bryce. Bryce time. Let's have a Bryce time. Alright. <laughs> hey Chrono, good to see you. Wait, we've already done this, right? You might have not got you might have not got the best the best uh, results for this, so just do thanks for the invitation. Okay. You need to be so formal. Sure, I'm the chief, but here, I'm just Bryce. <laughs> Wait a minute, something seems different here. He's not wearing the thing. Yeah. Oh, that's it, we're both sober. Oh, <laughs> I thought we weren't going to mention that. <laughs> right. Don't mind the chaos, just a temporary arrangement. Recommend. Oh, I guess. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. Never mind. I'm As you me. wish. <laughs> He's like, wait, wait, wait. Because I, gonna... I think you said your face, and he was like, oh. oh fuck. He's like, all right. Yeah, it's anyway. getting pretty late. That was fun. Can you find your way? I, I can skip. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I you can actually meet with the store clerk. That's or, kind of funny. Uh, huh. Wait. Some lunch. And, like, be romantic? Spend the day reading, I guess? Yeah, just reading. I don't think, like, the store clerk does much. It's probably just like a, hey, what's going on? In the end, I decided <clears throat> to skip. Uh, I wasn't really in the mood for anything complex. Adventure series, blah, blah, blah. I think we actually did that once. Do do do. Skip, 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 skip. 
We're going I'm home. fine. Anna's dead. Here we go again. Anna's dead. I'm fine. Let's just get I'm this fine. over with. Price nodded. Price nodded. Okay. All right. Okay. As you wish. Just let her die. Yeah, because I didn't again. talk to her. Uh, visit the police archives. I didn't do that last time. Yeah. I was on my way to the police station when a voice called out to me. Hey, you. I'm talking to you, human. What? Oh. I'm old. He's a Chinese-looking dragon. I'm old. Hello. Stop fucking looking down. Oh, he looks a lot different. <laughs> no, I'm much older. Can, can I help you? I certainly I'm hope so. <laughs> I'm in a little conundrum here. My car seems to be stuck. I lost all my teeth. I lost my teeth. Could you help me? <laughs> I can see that. Everything tastes salty. I'm Katsuharu, by the way, local ice cream vendor. Chrono, cr wait, Chrono, you probably heard me heard of me by now. Okay, I'm introducing myself. I was like, what? <laughs> Chrono, you probably heard of me. <laughs> of course, of course. In any case, do you think you could spare some time to help me out? It might take a while, though, so I <laughs> hope you're not in a rush. I don't think it's. I mean, I guess you can do this. It's just kind of whatever, but I don't think it really matters, but I don't really remember. Because mm. he's not a main character. Ah, uh, sure, I'll help. Thank you. Now to waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> now, I already tried just pulling it out, but I think the axle is going to break if I try to do that again. It really wasn't in my best condition to work with, to begin with. Honestly, and I heard a crack when I tried to pull it out earlier. So what do you want me to do? The cart is pretty heavy, so I'll, I'll be the one lifting it and hold the wheel steady so the axle doesn't break. Once I give you the sign, you start pulling, and hopefully that'll do the trick. Alright. Here, grab the handles and wait for my signal. Grab the my time, handles. By the time I had gotten into position, Katsuhara was already on the other side of the cart, getting dirty as he slowly lifted the affected core of the cart out of the muddy hole. <laughs> is that your sign? Should I start pulling now? Do it! Do it now! Fly, you no. fools! <laughs> I started pulling, but the cart turned out to be much heavier than I expected, and it didn't move. What are you waiting for? Do it already! I pulled harder, but the cart still refused to budge. I mustered all my strength before I pulled as hard as I possibly could. Yes! Do it! <laughs> Slowly, the start started moving, and after a few seconds, it was freed from the perilous clutches of the muddy puddle. With a dull thud, the dragon set the cart down again before he flopped on the ground exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we did it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, good job! <laughs> you want to call him, Want me to call you some help? No! <coughs> Just need some rest. Maybe some ice cream. Yes, I'll have some ice cream. And I'll get better in no time. Okay. <laughs> Let's need some pretty good ice cream. Oh, you have no idea. You must have already heard people talking about my wonderful, unique ice cream experience. It's made with, uh, homemade vanilla. Mm. Mm. Uh, That's actually, not list. really. <laughs> Oh, I think that was in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my manners? I haven't even properly thanked you yet. It's no problem. No, I insist. I won't be indebted for you to help me. Something? What are you planning? Like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're hereby invited to join me invited to join me for ice cream. As an ambassador, you owe it to yourself and humanity to try it. Maybe I do. Well, I must be getting going for now. Here's my number. I'll get you that ice cream some other time. Thanks. You helped Katsuhara. How nice of you. Altruist. I got a Chivo. Okay. These are Steam achievements, by the way. If Kristoff uh, ever gets around to watching these, he can actually cream over those. <laughs> yeah. Stay inside actually, or call the police? Uh, yeah. Oh. Stay inside, stay inside and call the police. Because I got that noit. Gotcha. Ultimately, I trusted the mysterious message. Remy's list of phone numbers given to me when he brought me to this apartment <clears throat> in the first place proved to be a valuable tool. I dialed the emergency line and was greeted by a calm voice asking me about the emergency. Gladly, the situation was understood and I was advised to stay inside until further notice. A team was dispatched to deal with the situation while I waited. From my window, I tried to catch a glimpse of what was going on at the portal, but I couldn't see much. The darker night was too fast approaching. About an hour later, I was informed the team had searched the perimeter, though no trace of razor was found. I was given the go-ahead to continue with my investigation, but I was free to stay where I felt was unsafe. Actually, try something. I want go to the uh, store. Uh, visit the, should I save first? Or does it not matter? Uh, yeah, you can save if you want. Might as well. I just want to see if something happens. Cause I'm not, I remember something happens, but I can't remember what. 
like Visit order you have to go the in. Store. So let's see. If it's nothing, then you can just. Oh, it's her again. There you go. Hey, if you mix up the prescription again, I can't help you. I can't refill this one. Just about to close, so you have to bring the right one tomorrow. Hello, Chrono. How can I help you? Actually, I'm just about to close up, so make it quick. Let's see. Um. Keep this keep okay. going. Don't, it'll. Should I skip? Because I think no, this just... is. Well, it's the same thing, but something might happen, but I, you, might, you might not have it yet. Okay. You just keep pressing or keep going. Or actually. Okay, yeah, follow yeah, Vara. Follow. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, do that. Interesting. Actually, excuse me, sorry, but we'll have to do this some other time. If you say so. This is important. Luckily, she hadn't gotten too far, so I followed her from a distance. <clears throat> and it's past as we walk through the streets, weaving through an unfamiliar part of town. The young dragon looked small and lonely on the empty road. Uh-oh. Before long, we passed through the village border, yet she pressed on and stepped into the forest. I turned back once to gauge that the village was on the far horizon, and in an instant the dragon was gone. I rushed to the spot I'd seen her last and found the entrance to a cave on the hillside. <gasps> when I peered inside, I saw Vara along a much larger orange dragon. The small dragon filled a bowl with a thick fluid and placed it in front of each other, the other... Then she placed her hand on the large dragon's chin. Gently, she lifted its huge muzzle and guided it towards the bowl. When she released it, the dragon's head slumped and fell into the liquid. The bowl tumbled sideways and spilled its contents across the cave floor. Hmm. hmm. I realized in the, what, what Vara had done, the orange dragon hadn't moved at all since I arrived. Oh. She was trying to feed the dead dragon. Oh. How did you even find out about this? I could tell something was wrong, so I followed her. I see. Well, good job, Chrono. What's going to happen to her now? She'll be sent to the orphanage. The background check determined that she had a father, but the two hadn't seen each other in years. Hmm. Can't you locate him? We did. Reza's second victim, the maintenance guy. That was him. Yeesh. I see. How did he even get this far? I don't know, but we'll certainly look into it. Some just fall through the cracks of the system. Any questions about this nonsense? Eh. <laughs> eh. Nothing? Eh. Being out here on their own probably didn't help. This is probably just their house. Do many of your people live outside town like this? Well, some do it on principle, others because they have no choice. Houses and apartments can be expensive, and it's not... I mean, expensive. And it's not unusual for us to use natural <laughs> environments as our homes. All right, I think we're done here for now. Don't forget to stop by the department later. I won't. Oh, I'm sad. Hmm. You followed Vara. Well done. You saw a dead body. Duh. Is this a stalker. stalker yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, it's getting late. I better help the head of the police <clears throat> station now. Do I have everything? All right, let's see what Sebastian will say to this. Okay, I'll hit skip. By the way, good job calling the police when you heard Reza. Too bad he got away again, but maybe a witness will come forward and we'll find out what happened. Now let's take a look at what you got. Did great today, Corona. The police department is glad to have you on their side. Sorry, oh, I did I it again. Wasn't even, I wasn't even paying attention either. I wasn't either, sorry. <laughs> Go you on. saved that little girl. As far as I'm concerned, nothing else you could have done would have mattered much, as much. Good job, Corona. You did well on the third investigation. Investigatastic. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't I get didn't a badge for two. I think I, you already did the uh, last time you did, oh, that's why I had skipped it. Gotcha. Because once you get the achievements... Oh, you did it on Flawless Run. There we go. Mm, yeah. Flawless victory. I do what I can. Anyway, can go to Bryce. I can meet with Katsuharu if I want, but... I think it's just for, like, an achievement. Yeah, skip ahead, as you wish. But it's just you won't want to skip this next part, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to want to keep this going. Ask him about the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no need for you to sleep on the floor. The couch is big enough for both of us. Gotcha. All right, we did it. Get some well-deserved rest. Yeah. Okay. Let's just relax. <laughs> Skip ahead. That's where they found the eggs and shit. We're getting close. And they're like... Tell Maverick oh, to wait. Whoa. Actually, you can... Wait, is that a hmm. thing we should do? What is this? This is, uh... This is kind of important. You can save it, 
Actually, yeah, I save it because I think this is like a crucial choice in something. Okay, tell Maverick to wait. This might actually be the good ending choice. Wait! He stopped and waited for a few seconds. What do you want from me? Do you have something against humans in general, or is it just Reza and me? Do you think you're superior to us because of your wings and teeth and claws? Your fire? Whoa, whoa. Ooh, aggressive. Or is it just jealousy or projected hate? I know the first day I met you, you were all hung up on people paying attention to us because we're human. I can assure you, there's nothing about us to be jealous about. Our world is a wasteland. He closed the door before he turned back to face me. Uh-oh. You're really playing that innocent role, aren't you? Now you're offering yourself as a bargaining chip for Reza. At this rate, even I might start to believe you if I didn't have reason not to. If I were with Reza, it would have been much easier for me to pull a gun on you too. The day you were shot, but I didn't even... The day we were shot. It's all in one sentence. But I didn't even bring one when I came through the portal. Plausible deniability. Or as we like to say, good cop, bad cop. If Reza's plan fails, you and the rest of humanity can disavow Reza's actions as his own and can still go through with the trade as agreed and Reza will be dealt with however. Yet if Reza's plan succeeds, you will have given us nothing and still have gained what you wanted. If Reza got away, you'd still have me, though. If your world is a wasteland, don't you think losing you is a price they would gladly pay? That records made me think. Did I really have the complete pictures before I stepped through the portal? I guess that would explain why I got the job in the first place. Besides, Reza only stole the things humanity wants, so he's clearly not doing th this for himself. His actions only started after that confrontation with you, though. Maybe none of this was planned. Don't be stupid. Do you think I've forgotten about the secret message he sent you? I still don't know what he would have told me that day if you hadn't interrupted us. He wanted to discuss his plans with you. Only after I found out about the secret message he sent to you did I realize that all the messages sent back and forth between the portals could have been similar, even before your arrival. When the police searched Reza's apartments, of course, nothing, none of these older, older letters could be found. Those did not have any secret messages. Is that so? None that I knew of, at least. When he sent that secret message, I initially had no idea how to read it. But you knew it was a secret message? Yes. But that is not true for messages he sent before you came through the portal? I don't think so. Maybe those messages weren't intended for you, then. We're not that different, you know. What are you talking about? We're not so different, you and I, Spider-Man! We can rule this city! <laughs> I reached into my pocket. <laughs> and I pulled out my gun. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I still have that! I don't know how long it's been. I do have a gun. <laughs> oh, sorry! I pulled out a wrinkled oh, piece of paper and showed it. I had the gun from the first playthrough. According to I'm this a time traveler. Results. I'm a time traveler, motherfucker! Humans and dragons show remarkable similarities for different species from different evolutionary lines in completely different worlds. Why do you think I care about that? It wouldn't make a damn difference to me if other dragons came through the portal instead of humans. I was the only one who found Reza and knew something was off, but all my concerns were swept away in the wind. It was never about you being humans, it's about my people not hearing my pleas and the leniency they were willing to show you, all in the name of fostering this diplomatic relationship. You two came in here and strutted around like you own the place as you tore my home apart. The blood of those who died is on the hands of everyone who allowed this to happen. If they had listened to me in the first place, maybe I'd have caught Reza that day. I was wounded and the things and things would look very different right now. I agree. <coughs> Why do you blame me for suspecting you? All this time I've just been helping the police. So have I. Maybe they'll finally catch Reza and we'll see how all this turns out. Hmm. Wait a minute, you had Anna perform those tests for you? It was more than the other way around, she was the one who wanted to study my blood. Suddenly I'm not surprised that you had these tests done. She can be ruthless when she wants something. What did she do to get your blood? She asked nicely for it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> she asked nicely? Nothing else in this world right now could be worth more than the samples of your blood, and you just gave them to her. Mm. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Even if humanity and Reza have cooked up a crazy plan, and even if they are willing to sacrifice either of you for their own gain, maybe you really have nothing to do with it. Maybe you are just clueless. It doesn't really matter much, though. After all, you have nothing to gain from me if I change my opinion of you. To me, proof is the only thing that really matters, so my feelings on the issues are not important. If you work with the police long enough, you just learn to take things as they are. 
Maybe with you, I'll have to admit that I was wrong. But I won't ever stop looking for those who, who are responsible for this. And if I find them, I will show them mercy. Okay, fair enough. Then I had to wait. Uh, Bryce and Sebastian were observing the farm now, and if anything new happened, I would be the first to know. Spent some time looking around Bryce's office. <clears throat> looking through his things. Finding a magazine or two. Anyway, Funny skipping ahead. Condoms. So we have two options here. <laughs> the first is that you stay a big fucking condom, you say. Bigger than my fucking body. Fit my arm in there. <laughs> oh, the first is you stay here and I go inside. This way, if Razor tries to flee and seize you, it might throw him off. You might be able to stop him. And the second? You go in first and I follow you. This way, if we find him, he didn't give me the option this way last time. He just said, I'm going yeah, in. Like, I'm like, wait, no, I go in. Yeah. We resolve the thing peacefully. You might be able to talk to him, and if, even if it doesn't work out, you got me and Sebastian nearby to stop him. I don't think he's planning to harm you on sight, and if we can hear things starting to go wrong, we might still be able to surprise him. So either we take him by surprise, I just have the option of talking to him first. I think you could pull it off. Maybe if you're there, he won't act as irrationally as he would if I was standing in front of him. I'm not going to force you if you don't want to, though. You go in. I'll wait here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen. After all that, I'll do it. All right, I let's go. I, I thought, like, even if you say that, it's just like, wait, never mind. I changed my mind. I'm going in first. Huh. Um, I think it does that, but I don't know. That'd be interesting. <clears throat> we slowly made our way to the front door. I took a deep breath and tried to prepare myself for the possibility of facing Reza. Tense scenarios and things I could say to him rushed through my head as I pressed down the door handle. The door inched open with a creak, but I noticed a slight resistance and a strange sound that suddenly made me hesitate. Uh oh, a tripwire! When I looked down at the source of the noise, I saw a taut wire taut through the gra in the door hovering over the floor of the entryway. That was a pretty close call, you know. Too bad Razor wasn't here after all. Maybe he ran when he saw us approach. Keep changing my voice. <laughs> Fuck it. <I> don't <laughs> Fuck it. Up. What do you what? think I am? Some kind of cop? I don't know. <laughs> Strange for him to leave everything behind, though. Everything he's stolen. All the generators are still here. Do you think the trap was for us in particular? <clears throat> Probably not. It was more likely for a general safety precaution. If he had any time to prepare for this, he wouldn't. Have, he would have taken the stuff with him. True enough. I had no idea you could make a bomb out of a generator. Then you just haven't been along with us- wait, wait, wait. Then you just haven't been with us long enough. If you know how, it's not even that complicated. And Reza somehow figured this out? Apparently so. Does he have any skills pertaining to engineering or electricity? Well, he's worked on cars before and fixes a lot of things back home. I guess that would qualify. Also could have done his own research. Either way, this makes him even more dangerous. At least we now know... We now have a whole building's worth of clues. And now it's not blown up with me. <clears throat> Bryce. My guts everywhere. <laughs> My guts all over the place. Mm. Chrono, can you get to your apartment from here? We'll be busy with the scene for a while. Uh, no problem. I'll leave you to the work then. Good job, Chrono. I'm not dead. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't die. I didn't die. <laughs> Surprised you called me back so quickly. How's the investigation going? Well, the investigation is going swimmingly, but as you can expect, we need all the help we can get. As usual. With how this case has been going, we've realized we must employ external help. You have three cops total. Oh? And, and one's gone. <laughs> one. One's whatever. Uh, it's off yeah. the force. We've requested assistance from one of the cities. We hope they'll send some good investigators our way soon. I see. So close today. He could have been in there, you know. Maybe we just came a few minutes too late. And if he knows how to make bombs from generators, who's to say he won't start using them elsewhere? At least he doesn't have any right now, does he? You said all the generators that were stolen are now accounted for. <clears throat> True. Still, this whole case is growing to be too much for a small town police department. I hope you'll get all the help you need. Me too. But right now, you can help us again. Oh. Well, what do you have for me? When we searched the building, we found more than the things Reza stole. We also found this bloody bandage. Please go check it out. Do you think that's his? That's what we need to find out, but given all that we know, it's probably it. It probably is. So he's wounded. You know, he was injured during the fight with his first victim, but whether it's the same wound or something else, I'm not sure. 
In any case, you can bring it to the lab for us to find out more. We did all this. Yes, I did. Actually, I can skip this. Yeah. There and we lastly, go. Lastly, we have the eggs. It's a relief that we found them unharmed in the building. Yay! They're safe yeah. and ready to be, sent, be ready to be Not exploded. To Should we take care of those first? <laughs> it's not as urgent as you might think. Our eggs are pretty resilient. Being in the care of the hatchery is more of an insurance than a requirement. Some okay. people choose to keep them in their own home until they explosions. hatch. <laughs> rather than having the hatchery take care of it. Right. So luckily they weren't blown up or anything. Yeah, it's weird. The hatchery has been notified, but they won't be able to send someone for a few hours. I've heard that they're really understaffed. Like That's someone familiar. else. It's almost like there's only a few JPEGs to work with. <laughs> Ping, sorry. If you bring, the, if you bring got... the eggs and the paperwork to them, you'd speed up the process, but it's not an urgent matter. I see. In any case, I'll just leave everything here until I get to it, so feel free to do these tasks as you wish. Okay. By the way, are you planning to, plan to, uh, plan to attend the Summer Festival? Should I? It's hard to think about something fun when I'm wrapped up in this investigation. For sure, it's important to take a short rest so you don't lose your head. There's so much to see at the festival, particularly the big fireworks. We didn't even go through this because we were mourning Bryce last time. Really big fireworks. Yeah. Dragons, en <laughs> Dragons enjoy fireworks too? I would think something like that would feel so commonplace since many of you breathe fire. It's not quite the same. We still appreciate the wonder of colorful bursts in the sky. On the last day, there's always a big fireworks show. Everyone usually attends it. Hmm. Everyone? Yes, it has great tradition behind it. What peeves me most is that I'll be on guard duty when it happens this year, so I probably won't see a, be able to see a thing. That was the day he died. Yeah. I'm sure not to oh. miss it then. Sure hope I don't die. <laughs> so, anyways, I should get back to the investigation now. I'll leave the stuff for you here, and I'll take care of the rest when I get back, all right? Sure thing. All right, good luck, Carno. Hope you don't die. You too. Man, I say that every day. <laughs> all right, so we did the bandage last time. We didn't visit the witness. Yeah, so the bandage and the or the eggs. Really happened, so okay. We can do probably the witness and the eggs. Yeah, we'll do the witness first. <clears throat> Oh. Can I help you? You must be Ipsum, is that right? Yes. I'm working with the police and hoped you could answer a few questions. Oh, do you have any news about my roommate? It's about the noises you heard last night. What's going on with your roommate? He went missing a few days ago. I already talked to someone from the police about this, but I haven't heard back from them since. Sorry, this is the first I've heard about this. I don't know what happened to him. He didn't go on vacation, nor did he suddenly decide to visit the next town. I'd know if he did, he would have told me. Honestly, I find it odd when someone goes missing. I don't hear back for several days, but when I hear loud banging noises during the night, the police send someone over immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't think I want to talk about this right now. I should go. I should go. I, I wonder who his roommate is. Lorem, probably. Who? Probably Lorem. I forget who that isn't, was. Isn't like Ipsum you should, you should press you should press pause. Hold on. Press escape and look at status. I want to check something. Uh status. Oh, what's that? Oh. Impressed. Oh. Moss but, uh, has a picture of Lorem's gone. He's not there. Anna and Lorem are not there. <laughs> Wonder what happened. Oh, he died. Missing. missing. Oh. Okay. So these are all the romanceable options, I guess? Yeah. Lorem, Anna, Bryson. I don't know. Ipsum, Ipsum's just his roommate, Lorem's no, roommate. No, I mean, Ipsum Lorem is a thing. I don't know what it is. So. Uh, like... I think it is a. It's. Yeah, I think it is, but. Because as, as soon as I heard the name Ipsum, I was like, Ipsum Lorem? I don't know what that is, but I know I've heard it. Hmm. Take I'm the eggs. Get my phone real quick. The hatchery. It's I don't know. I heard about it, but I don't, <laughs> he I don't know the reference. Is his last name Laura? Middle name? We ran out of names. It's filler <laughs> text. Basically, Ipsum and Laura were both like the high tier like Kickstarter things. So oh. he got Laura got into the like main game. Laura got into the main game. They were high tier Kickstarter things. Yeah, because at first it was just at first it was just Remy and uh. Bryce and Aideen and then like the whoever on the Kickstarter or whatever donated like a jillion dollars and he got his own like little dragon character to be a main character. I oh. see. Yeah. But the name itself, she's looking up what Ipsum Lorem. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a 
use it to test Alert formatting. Text. Oh, okay. Is it for games? Uh, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> it's publishing and graphic There's like, it's design. sound. Filler, Filler text, text or Greek, Greeking commonly used to demonstrate the textual elements of graph, graphic document or visual presentation. Placing meaningful content with... So, yeah, it's filler text. It's like, put real stuff here later on. Okay. Mm. Interesting. I guess it's just like... These okay. those sound good names for dragons. I guess a, a basic explanation would be, like, you would type a bunch of letters out and you would finally see where it rolls over just to see when it rolls uh, over corner, side of thing. It's very basic. It's not exactly how it is. Right. Yeah, it's just so you, you're testing, you're basically putting in a bunch of stuff and seeing how it works and then trial and error. I was on my way to the hatchery when I heard a voice call out to me. Hello um, there. Okay, I turned around to see an unfamiliar face before me. Uh, it's a furry dragon. Hi. Hi, am I another OC? Thank you. Hi, I'm and then, Kevin. And then not as much. Also, what? Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't. <laughs> I can hear dorks, but I can't see dorks. <laughs> hey, I'm Kevin. I don't know if I can look at that name normally. Yeah. No offense to anybody named Kevin. It's just funny. Kevin the dragon. It's such, such a normal ass name. <laughs> Chrono, nice to meet you. Could I perhaps interest you in our Midwest <laughs> institution, dork? He's got some cool bracelets. He's a cool guy. <laughs> There's some kind of religious thing? Not at all, it's college, dork. Dork. You're the one that going to college, dork! <laughs> Sorry, but I already got my degrees. Yeah, I know, it was just a joke. Dork. Oh, so me going to college is a joke now. I'm not good enough, is that it? Not at all, even if you wanted to study there, I don't think you'd be... You'll be with us long enough to make use of it. I think that came out wrong. You're lucky I won't take this the wrong... Wow, all these are very <laughs> abrasive. Or else what? I mean, phew. So you're a recruiter for this college? No, this is just my summer job. Is this a the summer? Once the semester starts up again, I'll actually be attending to get my degree in psychology. Because goth wear bracelets. He said this is a big titty goth GF. Nice old meme. I'll actually be yeah okay. College, wonderful times. That's oh, sarcasm. Did he detect that? Maybe. I didn't even know you had colleges here though. Well, you do now, dork. Why'd you even approach me if you know I'm not going to college here? Don't tell me it's just because I'm a human. I was actually trying to talk to that old lady who walked by, but once you turned around, there was no going back. Oh, well, thanks for not making things awkward. <laughs> hey, I treat everyone nicely until I have reason not to. <laughs> what the hell, Crota? Why are you so testy? I know, my dude's just like making all these renegade decisions on his own. <laughs> That's good customer service. Sure, but it's not just for the job, you know. That's just me, dork. Invite him? What? To what? <laughs> Hold up. Hey. It's just... What? I guess you can save and see what you're inviting him to. You're like, oh, I'm gonna To take the fireworks? I think to the eggs you're taking? I don't know. Maybe save it. If yeah, you wanna do that, yeah I'll save. Is the game gonna freak out if I load after <clears throat> making a decision, though? <clears throat> I don't think on this one. I don't think this matters. Invite him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's fine. It might just be like an extra... Like, oh, it's not... I should really be going. I have some things to take care of. I should go. <laughs> Alright, no problem. See you. Later, Kevin. Like Vegetable. <laughs> 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 then he's just like... <laughs> he probably would have declined, but still. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. Here we are again. Hey, Chrono, right? What are you doing here? I didn't, I never knew you. Oh, I just no, came you? to drop these off. Drop what off? The stolen eggs. I figured the hatchery would want them back. Oh, I was actually going to get those from the police department later. <clears throat> I'm so glad they got back safely. I'm at least not chewing my leg, you bitch. Eat tasty. <laughs> Eat tasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Can't help when Frank Reynolds has a dragon phone up. Anyway, let's go inside. Could I trouble you for one of those eggs? <laughs> it's, not even a kid. it's just like a full grown like Frank Reynolds. <clears throat> so I'll take those off your hands. 
<laughs> Thanks for bringing them here. No problem. <clears throat> Return the eggs to the hatchery. Extraordinary. Oh boy. Uh... In loco parentis? <laughs> what? In crazy parents? I don't know. In loco parentis. Thanks for all your help. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm Sebastian. <laughs> I'm Sebastian. I think you're Everybody the talks like this from now on. I got a sore throat. <laughs> you took the rest of the day off. I'm sure you have some better things to do with help. Actually, I think I can skip this. Yeah. It looks like oh, you've yeah. seen this before. Yes. Two. Yes. Bye bye. Fucking bitch, I was just about to. I was about to go through a lot of lore. <laughs> Seems like I've got some messages. Let's see. Hey, Chrono, want to meet up and go somewhere? Just the two of us? Just mm. the two of us. I just want to get out of my crummy temporary apartment. I did not read. <laughs> oh, that right. I know what you're That's read. fine. Did you say. Did you think it said cummy? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm sure I'm sure we could think of something fun. I'm gonna go pee. Uh. <laughs> 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 Latin. Yeah, it definitely sounded Latin. Okay. That saying In loco parentis. It's sorta of like um Vini Vidi Vici. Are you gonna wait for him to come back? Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait for okay. him to come back I here. Need to go, pee too. go go go! <laughs> We're gonna take a quick um, quick pee break here. How's everybody best, doing? Best Bryce is Spanish, remember? <sighs> oh my god, this fucking game! These two, both of these fools. <laughs> Sapphire bought this game for me. They both wanted me to play this game so bad, for obvious reasons. They love their dragons. And furry stuff. Oh, thank you! Yeah, and lose, yes. Is he thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. <laughs> she took a quick break, too. Okay. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, I, I had no idea what this game was. Uh, and Sapphire and Shoji wanted me to play this game. Sapphire bought the game for me. And I played the this like a year ago almost, or like months, six months ago, something. It was a long time ago. Yeah, it was basically it was a year ago. It was like eleven months ago. Okay, yeah. So <clears throat> I'm just now getting back to it. Bryce has a water sports thing. That's, That's great. great. <laughs> yeah, I like. I found out about this like a year ago, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. I like visual novels. I like dragons. I like the time travel element. I actually was able yeah. to pick up on the stuff. Well, I guess. It was fun because I think I even when I first when I finished it I was like, okay, so I have something that Sapphire will definitely like, and I have something that you'll probably like after a while. You'll yeah. Like it at first, probably. Yeah, it just but took a while to get into that stuff. Are you are Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. She didn't like I was talking about her behind her back in full mm -hmm. uh, hearing. Anyway, mm. is he thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> meet with wow, I can meet with Remy. What? No. <laughs> Why? Because uh, Lorem's missing, and Aideen, I guess you just... Oh yeah, Aideen is l lunch, Anna's missing. I see. There. Okay, Pretty meet much with Bryce, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, there's no reason to meet with anyone else. Bing bong. Oh, that must be him. Hmm. Just... Hey, Chrono. <laughs> hey, Bryce. Mm -hmm. I know you said you wanted to get out of this small apartment of yours, but I'm not sure if mine is much different. Well, I figured yours couldn't be any worse than mine, and now that I'm seeing it from the inside, I can say the council didn't do a bad job with it at all. I assume it's appropriate for someone with my status. Whereas the chief of police has to make do with whatever he can get. <coughs> you said it was only temporary. It is, but I'm getting sick of it, to be honest. I can imagine. Anyway, what's the plan? Ooh. Plan? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do something, right? <laughs> if you want some entertainment, I could offer you a bookshelf full of it. What is this music? Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so different. Here, Sheridan and the Scepter of Sovereignty should be enough to last you a while. No thanks. I have enough fiber <laughs> in my diet already. He's gonna eat the uh, fucking thing. I've got my arm length <laughs> monster <laughs> condom. <laughs> I've got a magnum condom for my dragon dong. Uh, no, yeah. I suppose you're not a fan of reading, then. 
Why would I visit you just to read some crummy book? And besides, I do read from time to time. What do you read? Signs, menus, magazines, visual novels. <laughs> I don't think that counts. What? <laughs> Let me take a look around your apartment then. Feel free, though I'm not sure if anything's <laughs> special about it. Watch with amusement as Bryce headed for the kitchen. So that's what you're really looking for. Guess what? I found something. He showed me one of the cheap bottles of wine that had been covered since I arrived. I didn't see that when I was searching the kitchen. <laughs> Why don't you raid the fridge while you're at it? There's some mysterious white liquid in there. You drank the liquid? You drank my li- I mean, the liquid? <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, this'll do for now. Oh, I get it. You want to play spin the bottle? Sure, we gotta empty it out first. I assume you don't mean emptying it into the sink. Of course not. That'd be a terrible waste. A terrible waste of the second cheapest wine from the store. I don't know how you humans are with stuff like that, but here we don't throw away perfectly good things. I'm not sure this wine would qualify as perfectly good. Uh oh, lights same, flickered. Same. Right, I'm gonna save real quick. Hold up. Eh. Lights flickered. Yeah, yeah, lights are flickering. We don't know if the electricity is going to go out. Because for some reason that's been happening, which is annoying. Oh, your lights. I thought you meant the game. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, so we saved just in case something happens here. Uh, okay. um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure this wine would qualify as perfectly good. Hey, at least it's not the absolute bottom of the barrel. It's the crumb above that. <laughs> now, are you going to help me with this or not? Say sure. Sure. All right, let's make it one glass for you and the rest for me. You think that's fair? If I had to guess, I'd say I weigh five to ten times as much as you, so this is as fair as it gets. If you say so. I opened the kitchen cabinet to find an appropriate vessel for Bryce. <laughs> when I turned to ask him about it, he had already opened the bottle and was suckling on it like a baby. <laughs> I suppose that means I won't have to do any dishes. How's it taste? Like wine, I guess. Cheap wine. Besides, I thought you were more of a beer person. Hey, I take what I can get. I guess you could call me an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few minutes later, the bottle had been emptied completely. I'm not sure if drinking like a dragon is a phrase, but it sh if it isn't, it should be. Hey, not everyone can drink like me. I see. And now we can finally play spin the bottle. With two people. <laughs> With two pe Don't we need more people for that? <laughs> Damn, you're right. Now I drink all this for nothing. <laughs> Somehow I think the whole spin the ball thing was just an excuse so you could drink the wine. What? I never would never do such a thing. Of course not. But well, we could still play it with just the two of us. Oh. Oh. At that point we wouldn't even need the bottle anymore. Come on, where's your sense of funness? Is that even a word? We're here to relax. You should lighten up a bit. It's hard to lighten <clears> up <throat> given everything that's been happening here. If anything, it's worse now than it's ever been. Raises actions are threatening. Oh, it's a mood killer. Yes, Our agreement <laughs> with the survival of everyone I know back home. But really takes the cake is that he might have it out for me because I'm helping all of you. It's fucking music, though. You want to have this conversation right now? Listen to the music. <laughs> all right. Listen to this music I'm playing. Let's have it out. Just let it all out. Yeah, why don't we talk about Maverick? He may have it out for me because I think I'm working for Reza. I thought we hashed this out already. And me, I'm just here, right in the middle of this whole mess, trying to make the best of it. You know, you're only involved in the investigation because we needed your help, right? I know, and I'm doing what I can, but that doesn't mean it's making the situation any easier. You think I don't know that? Me, the one responsible for every action our police is taking in this matter? The one that died? I mean, didn't die in that explosion that could happen? <laughs> it's happening! Oh, never mind, false alarm. <laughs> Oh, I had the same thought as Sassy. I did too about the funness. Is that even a word? No. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and blame someone, just blame me. I can take it. What have I become? I'm not blaming you. I'm saying this whole situation is something I'm not very comfortable with. And whose responsibility is that, huh? However you look at it, it's me. I was the one who didn't listen to Maverick back when he had suspicions about Reza. If we had acted then, this whole thing might not have spiraled out of control like it did. And despite what you might think about him, he was the one who found Reza's hideout. Even after I forced him to sick leave. We were practically at Reza's front door and he still got away somehow. If I had done something different, we might have caught him. Let me this be my official apology to you. 
unzips dick. Unzips <laughs> <laughs> dick? <laughs> I hereby... <laughs> wow. I apologize for anything I might have done wrong to you. <clears throat> I'm sorry for putting you through all this and having you involve you in our work while trying to fix this whole mess, because in the end, this is all my responsibility, and we only have three cops on the force. How does one unzip dick? Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. You don't need to apologize for anything. Be a dragon. But <laughs> he hurled the empty bottle across the wall on the other side of the room where it was shattered to pieces. Oh, oh, no. Then what do you want me to do, huh? Angry. Uh, no. Angry? Angry. I don't know. You think it's easy for me, seeing so many people die on my watch? You think I don't keep asking myself the same questions? What could I have done differently? What would have made a difference? What if I could time travel? Wink, <laughs> wink. You think it's cheap? I'd be used to it by now, but I'm not. How could someone ever get used to this? It's my duty, you know. But I can't save them all. Never could. Angry. <laughs> and you've been more than enough... Cr you've seen more than enough... Cr Ugh. Been to more than enough crime scenes by now. How have you remained so calm? Do all of you have died and not matter to you? I'm sorry for making you look like a corpse on your very first day here, but you know I had to. Your help has been val invaluable. It's not like I could ask anyone else. It's the same for me, really. Sure, they could ask someone else to be cheap, but if I'm the one who's best suited for the job, who am I to reject that? It's like, with great power comes great responsibility or something. We have that thing called Dragon Spider Man. Dragon, dragon. Spider. Dragon Spider. <laughs> spider Dragon. Spider Drag. Spider Drag. He dresses in drag. Otherwise, I've had to. I really like it. I have to blame myself for every mistake the other chief made. Is that why you drink? It might come as a surprise, but. Actually, the alcoholic police chief used to be a huge stereotype in our world. Really? You wouldn't believe it. Actually, I do. The research about alcoholism and the police forces out there, but the general populace doesn't know about it. It's all just internal documents. Why don't people know? They don't want to know about happy, unhappy things like that. Besides, they just trust their chief. If they knew about it, maybe they'd start to have their doubts. I thought it was just common knowledge that you'd visit the bar fairly often, often enough that you're friends with the bartender. I don't know, maybe they don't realize how it affects me. They see someone who can drink a lot and does it for fun. They don't realize what it means. What other stereotypes about the police are in your world? And that's the biggest one. I see, well, alcoholism and suicide both are huge problems in law enforcement. Okay. Oh, really? Good. Suicide? Oh, boy. Don't tell Logan Paul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have to deal with things we do on a daily basis, it can affect you in pretty bad ways. Everything, ha Everyone has their breaking point. We all just cope in our own different ways. Some do it better than others. That's why I'm worried about Maverick right now, and I wish you could, wish you'd known of as long as I have. You think he's at his breaking point? He's taking this whole razor situation very personally. I'm worried about him. You know, just like I'm worried about everything else. Until we can sort this whole mess, it's personal for me too. No matter what you may think about Maverick or what he may think of you, he still found Razor's hideout, which led us to the generators. Uh, wait, how is this not a huge issue in personal lives? I object that in shooting other people, just shooting people in general, really. I guess you have helped a lot in this investigation. My point with all this is we're at a very tight-knit group at the police station. Me, Sebastian, Maverick, Naomi. Naomi, the person we've never seen. We yeah. Never got drawn. Right, whoops. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I guess you'll never see her. She died. The bond we form is on the job now is how we look out for each other. There's only four. I can tell you, there's nothing else quite like it. What do you think? How many more have to die to stop Razor? If anything, he's more dangerous now than he's ever been before. And you know how much depends on how this all turns out. Whatever happens, I'm just glad to have known you. Remember when I told you about the wooden models I'm making? Oh yeah, he whittles. I never would have told anyone else about that. As much as I like everyone at the department, it's not something I could talk about with them. You saw us at the barbecue. I'd never hear the end of it. 
Sorry about the bottle, by the way. I'll, I'd clean it up, but don't worry about it. It was empty anyway. Yeah, that's the chrono I like. Oh, you won't believe what happened with Emma at work. What? Did. <laughs> what? Question mark. <laughs> well, I did what you told me and played along with her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. She asked me for a massage again a while ago, and you gave her a massage? Honestly, I had no idea what I did. I don't know how to give a massage, so I just pressed and rubbed her here and there. What did she do? Well, she seemed to like it a lot. There was a lot of grunting and moaning. Plus, she gave me a lot of compliments. I guess there was a lot of tension she needed to get rid of. She should visit her massage parlor, then. They have people who are way more qualified than I am. Do they? Yeah, usually it's those who have better hands than I do. But then, she really doesn't want the massage anyway. She just wants me. What are you going to do next? I don't know. After I gave her the massage, she just told me to go home and take the rest of the day off. The next day, she acted like nothing happened. Did she deny that it happened? No, I didn't even bring it up. We just went on with our work as usual. Strange. I get, the feeling, strange. <laughs> I get the feeling she might ask me to do it again soon. You're a mystery. We're a mystery. You're all over to Chris! <laughs> what will you do then? I'll probably just do it again if I can get the day off. I can... At least go back to the department and work on the case a bit instead of doing nothing in her office all day. Good point. It makes for an interesting story, that's for sure. True. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. If I told you I'm a time traveler from the future, what would you say? Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> time travel? Isn't that something that just happens in bad science fiction novels? Why only bad science fiction novels in particular? Don't you think there could be a good one? Let's just say all science fiction novels because they're... Let's just say all science fiction novels because they're all bad. Huge generalization <laughs> aside, what if we are in a science fiction story and time travelers are real? I want to see some proof of it first. That's not something you come across every day after all. What if I confided it to you as a friend? You still have to show me some proof or else I'd call you out on the joke. What if I was serious? Well, it's pretty far out. That's the kind of thing someone would make up to scam people for the money or something like that. All right, let's forget about time travelers. What if I told you there's another human here besides Reza and me? This is getting a kind of weird, Chrono. Just entertain me for this question. Well, unless you had some sort of proof, I'd call you crazy. As a member of law enforcement, aren't you supposed to follow up on every report? Yes, but that doesn't mean we have to believe everything. If there's no proof, we'll look for proof. If we don't find some, well, without any proof or leads to follow, there's nothing we could do anyway. I see. By the way, when you and Sebastian went to the farmhouse to go after Reza, you just left me alone with Maverick in the same room. I did? Yeah, I was worried there for a few seconds. Don't you worry about <laughs> him. You mentioned that you had a talk with him about a week ago. That was a week ago, Jesus. And that didn't end badly for you either. He might be scary, but I don't think you need to be afraid of him. He's got a very strong sense of justice, so he wouldn't do anything to you without a good reason. When we were alone, he had an opportunity to talk where he made his position very clear. Did he threaten you? No, I was honest with him, and in turn, I think he was honest with me as well. Oh, really? Yeah, I had nothing to hide. If he was willing to talk, I wasn't going to turn down the opportunity. How'd that go? I think he doesn't suspect me as much anymore. Guess leaving you alone with him wasn't such a bad thing after all. I suppose you could say so. I just did. What's okay. that outside? Fireworks? Oh shit. Mm. We need to check on Sebastian. Yeah, seriously. Fireworks? Yeah, it must be the summer festival. You wanted to get out of your apartment and rather go to the festival you came here. Festival really isn't anything special for me anymore. Seen one, seen them all. Besides, it's usually more a thing of for families, really. I see. Are those the fireworks people keep talking about? No, they have fireworks show every evening. Nobody really cares about the first couple of days. It's only on the last day when they bring out the big ones. I usually watch those. Oh, so if there's big explosions, then you care? Uh, 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 well, I yeah. Yeah, big no! explosions. Oh my god. Close by explosions. Inside your friend. Inside <laughs> me, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Explode inside me. Oh my god. Anyway. Whoa, don't say that. I'm, but ready. <laughs> I'm ready for it. 
but it's a big tradition here, maybe even an ideological one. You know, everyone in town united under the stars, watching the beautiful fireworks. It's a thing. People have been telling me for the last few days how I just have to see them. You know, you kind of owe it to us as an ambassador to take part in a culture event like that. I'm going to go anyway, so you don't need to convince me. Want to come with me? I know all the good viewing spots, most of the popular ones are usually super crowded. And we probably want to avoid those. Can't really promise anything right now, but I'll keep it in mind. Well, you got my number, so let me know as soon as you can. Sure thing. You know, those fireworks are often a couple thing. Mm. I'm not surprised they can set the mood for a romantic mm. evening. Mm. Well, they're still gonna go. They're still going on <clears throat> outside right now. Mm. Are you mm. saying you want to go outside and watch? As a couple. Uh, oh. No, I'm oh. saying we could take oh. this conversation oh. elsewhere. Namely, the bedroom. Oh. Whoa, Melinda! <laughs> the bedroom here is nothing special, I can assure you of that. Well, it's better than the one I have right now. You know, when you slept over last time and we shared the couch, I took it as a sign. <laughs> Did that mean anything to you? Or was that just two friends sharing a couch that was clearly too small for two people who just wanted to stay friends? <laughs> Sitting it up. Oh, but here we go. Because they're not gay. Because they're not gay. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't mean what you thought it meant. It didn't mean what you thought it meant. Oh. It meant exactly what you thought it meant. It wasn't what it was. It didn't mean anything, but we could still make this a romantic evening. It was exactly, exactly. what you Come thought on. it meant. <laughs> Chrono, you dense motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you dense motherfucker. <laughs> uh. Why don't we make this a little more romantic then? Share a glass of wine and see where the evening takes us. Yes. What was that noise? I should have another bottle in the kitchen. No. I'll go fetch it. Sure thing. Oh, oh yes. boy. I went to the kitchen to fetch a bottle of wine and two appropriate <clears throat> vessels. Wondering how Bryce would manage a wine glass. When I returned from the kitchen, however, I was met with an unexpected <laughs> sight. Uh oh. Oh god, I'm afraid to click. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my God! <laughs> Hello there. Scream! Check. Oh God! What is that coming out of you? You know what you have to do. Don't get. Don't get. All right, we're shy. accepting. You knew it. We're gone. We've gone this far. It's going further. Oh, oh my! my. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Bryce sprang to his feet, a somewhat embarrassed look on his face. What is it? <laughs> no, that was fine. That was Don't fun. stop! <laughs> <laughs> He's really uncomfortable. Uh, physically, uh, physically uncomfortable right now, you guys. And it's really uh, funny. His face is turning Not back. something you've seen here before, huh? <laughs> not like that. And then, especially with my kind, they, uh, well, I think well, you can see what I mean. You went to the store. <laughs> you went to the store. That section was made for me. <laughs> they call that the Bryce it's section. It's the Bryce section. Half Bryce. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to just stand there and keep staring? Oh my god. No. Uh, then why don't you come a little closer? Alright. <laughs> you sound so nonchalant. Uh, okay. Okay. Another free day. <laughs> Yay me! <laughs> I got a pip in my step. <laughs> Alright, so we never see yeah, a, well, you um... Got a limp in your step. We never see a, uh, an image of our character, do we? I don't think so, no. So it could be a girl or a boy. I think you're... Yeah. I think it's just like a neutral, just... That's why there's both girls and boys, and it's not... It's not necessarily a gay thing for people who are playing the game as a girl. But it is if you want it to be. Which uh, is what everybody's thinking because I'm a guy in this game. Yeah. Anyway, another free day. <laughs> Yay me. 
Or is that just to comfort though. yourself a little bit? No, I'm just I'm just like processing because I was like, oh, you don't actually know if I'm a guy or a girl. So because I, I was wondering, how does that work, right? That just got heavily implied that we had sex, but what was happening there? And I'm or thinking, you thinking you want it. it could be whatever. Having hot sex with a hot dragon. Is it could have just been cuddling. <laughs> yeah, cuddling with a wine bottle sized dick. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, got the sign missed rest. the best I part. Like, I feel like, like that scream was an option. Scream! Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Throw the wine bottle at him. Oh, <laughs> throw it at him! Oh my god! <laughs> what was that for? What the fuck? <laughs> you literally just said that's exactly what you wanted. Anyway, I guess we'll get some well deserved rest. Yeah. We don't need to meet with anybody? Okay. Oh my god. No. Do 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 do. Hope and leadership. Oh, this is too much. I didn't see loss this time. No. Uh, oh, no! Oh, come on. Sebastian! Seriously. Sebastian is forever dead? Maybe, maybe not. The receptacle Should is be? ruined now. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Oh, Bryce. we're going with Bryce! Alright. <coughs> going with Bryce. Jesus. Bryce Mobile. Oh, uh, my chest hurts. Ding dong. That must be him. Yeah. Dong, here's the dong. Here's the dragon dong. <laughs> my dong. <laughs> I hope you're ready to see the fireworks, because I brought everything we need. In front of him, there was a woven basket that was closed at the top. It reminded me of a lot of a typical picnic basket. What are you talking about? Snacks and other things. You'll see. Toys. Toys. Oh, hey. boy. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> then. After a few minutes of walking, we'd arrived at a rather empty-looking area near the edge of town. Where is everyone else? I thought the whole population was watching the fireworks. Well, there are more public spaces, but someone like you would get pushed to around, around a lot in crowds. Besides, I think you'll appreciate the solitude. If you say so. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> the fireworks should start any minute now. If you're hungry, you can grab something from the fun basket. <laughs> fun <laughs> basket? Excuse me? That's what I call it. It's in my lap. I didn't know. <laughs> it was. Did He's just holding it at his waist. Why did you reach in and grab something from the fun basket? Oh my god. My dick in the box. Dick in the basket. Didn't know snacks were that much fun for you. <clears throat> they certainly can be. Besides, there are other <laughs> things inside as well. Oh, I think oh, it's starting. Let's just change the subject. We waited quietly as the stillness of the night enveloped us. Soon I heard the sound of... The first rocket making its way into the night sky, after which it exploded in a pattern of colors. More rockets followed, a thunderous noise echoing, echoing throughout the land. Echoing. That's what they sound like in the sky. They're just <laughs> echoing all throughout the night. You remember what happened last time there were fireworks? Oh. Oh. Is that what the fun basket is for? Oh my god. Actually, no. Not unless you feel real adventurous. Oh, God. <clears throat> We're already outside. That's pretty adventurous, I'd say. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Suit yourself. Bryce opened the basket, feeling around in it with one of his claws. Meanwhile, my gaze wandered to the illuminated night sky. Suddenly, a terrible realization hit me. Okay, this is the same text we had last time. Yeah, Bryce will make his move. Everyone's there. Bryce, I think we need to go now. What? Do you want to take this somewhere else? I know where Reza is. What are you talking about? Are you sure? I bet my life on it. Then we have no time to lose. Let's go. <clears throat> Bryce lost his mojo. Sebastian! <laughs> Sebastian! <clears throat> Stan! Just get a little dead, Stan. Damn it. What is it, Bryce? Hesitating, Andy drew nearer. No, no, no Sebastian. <sighs> I should have had some better cards there, you. Sebastian, I'm sorry. They he had the new dual disc, the one with the gun. <laughs> He's dead, but still warm. That bastard. Reza hasn't used the portal yet. How could he? Isn't it broken? Not anymore. It looks like someone repaired it. Then he must be close. But where is he? What's so important that he wouldn't leave without it? The underground building. The administrator told me about the prowess of the generators within. <clears throat> yeah, that must be it. So what do we do now? We could wait for him here, but I think I've got an even better plan. What is it? Let's just do it like last time. You go in first, and I'll stay behind and out of sight. 
If you meet him, you can confront him and maybe talk him down. If he tries to flee, <coughs> he'll still have to get through me first. All right, let's go. Bryce led me to the dig site where they had unearthed the building's entry. Once we got near, stay behind motion for go forward. He slowly followed me, trying to stay in cover as I entered the building. Inside, I was met with a long, illuminated hallway. There you are, Chrono. You don't know how glad I am to see you. That's you, I think. But, uh, I haven't talked to you for so long. I even tried to contact you, but that didn't work. One of them on your tail the whole time. Yeah, okay. I can't skip this, so I guess we're reading this, or can I just click past? They're slightly kind of different. They might be kind of different. We can just, like, speed read it. Okay. <sighs> Wait, now you're here. We got everything. Come on, help me with this, and let's get out of here. No. What are you talking about? I'm not doing anything to you answer a few questions. Want to talk now? Sure, we know. I got a few hours. None of the most surplus here. When did you realize you in the past? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I want to talk to you. We got on the portal. I found out. It was obvious meeting now. Supposedly that, resembling the prehistoric. Abstract, the sun, the moon, the PDA, the thing. I guess. Kill so. those dragons, Reza. What are you talking about? I didn't kill anyone. Oh, hold up. Oh, that's a new one. Okay. Uh. Don't lie to me. You did it. I remember it now. What do you mean? That doesn't make any sense. Are you, com are you telling me that you weren't the one who stole the generators and those other things these past two weeks? No, I was in hiding. What? After what happened at the portal, I didn't dare do anything that could jeopardize our mission. Hmm. Alternate timelines, alternate murderers, but the same type of murders. Why didn't you just come back? How could I? They wanted to arrest me. I was a fugitive. I was surprised they didn't apprehend you, but then you weren't the one who shot at one of their police officers. Come on, Reza. The murders only started happening after you were gone. And the police have gathered plenty of evidence. You're the only one with a motive. All I did was the whole time was try to find ways to contact you so you could talk to our people and figure something out for me. Why would I escalate the situation like that? Besides, how did you know so much about what the police were doing? I've been helping them because you were going about this the wrong way. I didn't kill anyone, I'm telling you. They I have proof, I Fraser. Did not. I did not. <laughs> I've seen it myself. You just turn yourself in and we'll go from there. Nobody can help you if you don't do that. No, I'm not <clears> going to turn myself in for something I didn't do. Not for these beasts. Who knows what they'll do to someone like me in captivity. That's oh. not what he did to you in the house. Oh, shit. You were watching. Ah. <laughs> uh, That's pretty hot. How else do you expect this to end? kind of liked it. I'm not doing anything till I get free passage back home. Actually, I could just leave this place right now. The portal's fixed after all. That's not going to happen. Let me ask you one thing. How exactly are you planning to stop me? I'm the one with the gun here. You would shoot me to save your own hide? Only if you insist on standing in my way. You're not going to get away that easily. What are you going to do, huh? Hit me? What are you going to do? Stab me? <laughs> Quote from Man Stabbed. <laughs> Quote from Man <laughs> Stabbed, yeah. <laughs> I'll be long gone by the time you call the cops. I don't need to, Reza. They're already here. Suddenly, Bryce and Maverick were standing next to me. Whoa! Maverick, too! Whoa. You planned this, didn't you, Chrono? <clears throat> Traitor! And to think I let you distract me with such a cheap trick just because I thought there was still some shred of humanity within you. Uh-oh. Uh-uh, no. He pulled out his gun, not sure which one of us he should be aiming at. Just let me go and I'll forget this thing ever happened. You've got six bullets for three people. You think you can really do that, Reza? You really think this is worth risking your life for? I've been risking my life for this every day for the past two weeks. What did you do during that time? Sip champagne in your nice apartment? Exactly wine. Cheap wine. <laughs> uh, besides, this generator and <laughs> the whole building came from our time. They belong to humanity. Suddenly, the administrator came from the shadows in the hallway behind Reza. No, they belong to me. <laughs> Confused, Reza spun around, aiming his gun at the newcomer, who was slowly walking towards him. Who the fuck are you? Freeze! I said freeze! Want to waste your bullets on me? Feel free. You can't stop all of us. If you say so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Pulled the trigger and the administrator fell to the ground with a dull thud uh -oh. that knocked her mask off. Oh. Who? What the fuck? Who the fuck is that? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> My first instinct was to run away, but as Bryce and Maverick started charging, so did I. Ooh. Uh. Razor was quick with his aim, shooting both Maverick and Bryce twice before pointing his gun in my direction. I quickly dove behind a box with the generator for cover, just as Razor pulled the trigger multiple times. Oh, yeah, there's only one bullet. Only one a single shot came out and lodged itself in the box. Though I was seemingly unharmed, a loud hiss began to emanate from my cover. 
Everybody run! It's gonna explode! Oh, shit. I started running towards the exit as soon as I was overtaken by both Razor and Maverick. I looked back over my shoulder to see Bryce grab the administrator before he started running as well. Just as I reached the outside, the explosion knocked me off. I mean, it was so crazy, you should have seen it! You should have seen it! <laughs> Literally who? <laughs> there was a rain of small debris as I heard the walls of the building shaking the foundation. As I looked up, I saw Razor fumbling with his gun as Maverick pounced on him. He bit into Razor's neck and strained for a second before ripping a large chunk out of oh, it. Uh -oh. Razor wasn't moving when Maverick walked off and came towards me. Uh, oh. Where's Bryce? Oh, Jesus Christ. I looked towards the entry, which was now mostly blocked by debris. He must still be inside. What are you still Jesus. waiting for? Come on! Ran towards the rubble, only to see the administrator crawling through a small hole as she removed the last bit of debris that separated oh, her from the outside seriously? world. Literally rip. Yeah. Rip After, well, after she laid down panting heavily, water began to trickle from the new opening. It's the water pocket. The building must be flooded. And he's still inside. I'll clear away the rubble and you try to find him. Both set to work as I stuck my head into the hole that the administrator had crawled out of. The place was flooded completely, but luckily, even through the water, I could see Bryce as he tried to clear away the rubble from the other side. Quickly, I tried to pull my head back out of the hole. He's on the other side, trying to get through. Who knows how long he's been underwater? Give him some air. I took a deep breath before I went in again. I extended my arm to grab Bryce's muzzle. Luckily, he seemed to understand what I was going for as he moved into my reach. I pressed my lips to his oh. muzzle, giving oh, some nice. much-needed much air. I nice. drew back, repeating the same process a few times while Maverick cleared away the rubble, till eventually, Bryce surfaced, panting heavily. What did you eat? <laughs> Are you all right? Me. Oh yeah, you. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Anyways, tastes like, like my ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I got more liquid for you. Oh, the fridge. Here you go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. Yes. <laughs> tastes like ass. <laughs> oh, Let's get God. away from here before the empty water pockets cave in or something. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> Tastes like my ass! <laughs> I know how that tastes for some reason! <laughs> Maverick carried the administrator oh, while we went uphill towards right. the portal. He did. Yeah, dead. But he apparently didn't kill anybody this time around? Yeah. Yeah. What Weird. On? When I came yeah, across sure Razor's corpse, I took the time to strip him of his gun and ammo, not wanting the dragons to find them. Okay. <clears throat> Doesn't want the dragons to have the gun, I guess. Meanwhile, the administrator was set on the ground, and Bryce checked out everyone's injuries. Luckily, it seemed both Bryce's and Maverick's were comparatively minor and didn't need any immediate attention. Well, I guess they're heavily armored. The administrator was not so lucky, however. She squirmed as Bryce moved her clothes out of the way to get a good look at her bullet wound. No, don't. Girl. <laughs> as, her, <laughs> as her return to no, them. No, don't. <laughs> so she did the voice originally already knowing that she was a chick. <laughs> Did he, though? <laughs> who, who knows if there's a different oh, administrator? You know what? You're fucking right. I don't know. Who knows? I, I heard Bryce audibly gasping. <gasps> Damn it! <gasps> Is it bad? <clears throat> Chrono, do you remember the first victim? The blood on his muzzle from fighting back was neither yours nor Razor's, but still distinctly human? I thought it was an error, but that DNA tests weren't compatible. But Razor doesn't have matching bite wound from him. She does. Considering the implication of Bryce's words, whereas Razor usually doesn't hesitate to admit killings... Didn't hesitate to admit the killings to reach a goal he thought noble. He denied any such actions this time. Okay, so I'm doing some time travel. He's not gonna be an Angels in Scaly Wings too. He's not gonna be an Angels in Scaly Wings too. He not gonna be an Okay. Of course, there was no use ignoring the evidence before us. This could only mean one thing. Why'd you do it, Izumi? Why did you, know you kill the, them? You know her name. He did kill them, you know. Just not in this timeline. Oh. If you can even remember my name now, then you should also remember what he, what else he would have done. How he would enslave them to use his weapons back in the future, and how he doesn't care about what happens to this world. I had to do it in order to put you on the same trail he would have. If I had come to you during the first night and tried to explain to you that I am a time traveler who had to kill in order to prevent his suffering, that his magnitude's greater, genocide, slavery, would you have believed me? 
Who could have known that? Sometimes even Reza can change. If he didn't kill anyone, there would have been no investigation, and you wouldn't have known how dangerous he is when he shows his true colors. You just saw that even in this scenario, he wouldn't shy away from shooting others to get what he wants. Besides, I didn't want to risk jeopardizing our experience by changing things. It could erase all the progress we have made in the things we learned over the many times we've done this now. If I didn't shove you out of the way in the cellar when the light fixture came down, you would have died then and there. That's what happened the first few times. Mm. Mm. There was a lot of trial and error involved to get where we are now. You wouldn't believe the lengths that I have to go to every single time and the consequences if I don't. You could not have followed the same path and arrived here if I didn't kill them. The fact that you remembered that it was originally Reza who did it only proves just how important this is. If only the events stay the same long enough, will you be able to learn from them and remember, despite the effects of the repeated teleportations have on your memory. So I only remember a few things. Yeah, this only tells me that I made the right call. If Reza had nothing to do with that, then what was he doing when he was trying to take the generator? I slipped him a note he thought came from you. He had said to meet here and take the generator before you leave together. He played his part well, well enough, so you couldn't tell the difference. So he really did think that I planned all this? That I lured him here to have him arrested by Bryce and Maverick? For all he's done, I think he deserves to know what betrayal feels like. Hmm. I've listened to this long enough. It was you. And that's all that matters to me. No, Maverick, don't do it! Don't be a Maverick! I'll tear you apart! Oh! oh God. Bryce tried to go between them, but Maverick aimed his shoulder squarely into Bryce's bullet wound. Bryce collapsed, convulsing in pain as Maverick pounced on Izumi and tore into her. Meanwhile, I put a few bullets into the gun I took from Razor before I aimed it at Maverick and pulled the trigger several times. Maverick collapsed instantly and looked at me with a pained expression. Beneath him lay Izumi, dead. Why? He was trembling and took a few slow steps towards me, only stopping when I aimed the gun at him. Stop right there. She killed them, and you protect her? I'll tear you apart, Lisa! I'll tear you apart! <laughs> we needed her. <laughs> Told you I'd show no mercy if I found the killer. Just when I thought I could trust you, I should have known you'd shoot me just like Reza did. No, it's not like that. Then why? I don't think I can explain. He shook his head weakly. We should have shot him, but we didn't have a choice. Thanks it for proving me right, Chrono. Do you remember when I confronted you a while back and asked you to explain your reasons? You told me I wouldn't understand. You're right. Don't. Blech. Blech. <laughs> his head slumped as he closed his eyes. He was dead. Little X's appeared. Tear from Bryce. My friend. My best friend. Where's his human arms? They're not here right now. <laughs> They're not here. It's too serious. This isn't bedtime, Bryce. <laughs> so we've never made it to this day. It's a new day. Hey, Bryce. Kill my fucking friend. <laughs> I'm afraid I've got some pretty bad news for you. What is it? We were able to power the portal again, even without the generators from the lab. We still couldn't re-establish contact with humanity. Why not? Ever since the portal got sabotaged and was repaired, the coordinates, the connection to the humanity's portal, it just isn't there anymore. Can't you locate it again? We don't know how. We found a different set of coordinates in there, but for some reason we aren't able to use them. I know, only I can. They're for traveling back in time to the day of my arrival. I guess you really are a time traveler, huh? Now that you know everything, that shouldn't really surprise you. <coughs> what are you gonna do now? Well, I guess I can't romance you again. Mm. <laughs> Not if I want a really? different ending. Well, I guess returning to humanity is out of the picture. So it's either staying here or using the portal to return to the day you arrived here. All that time travel business is too complicated for me. Zumi had it all figured out. I'm wondering what she would think about this outcome. All she ever wanted was to save you dragons, just like Reza only wanted to save humanity. <coughs> neither shied neither shied away from killing people, so maybe you shouldn't look at them as pillars of morality. Either way, I'm not sure if you really have much of a choice here. They don't actually know if they can stop the comet. Of course they'll try, but without generators from the lab, it's not looking great for us. Oh yeah, the lab got destroyed again. 
I initially came here to help humanity, but if I go back with what I know now, maybe I can help you too. At any rate, it was nice while it lasted. Hey, no need for melancholy now. It's not like as if we're not going to see each other again. Not in the same way. I'm not going to see you. <laughs> Soon I was preparing for the return to the day of my arrival. Despite her actions, Izumi had made a good point. Thinking about the knowledge I had now, I realized how important it was to remember and how it would help me during my next attempt. No doubt, teleportation would erase some of my memory again, but I could think of a few ways to retain some knowledge. Not only did I make my own written account of what happened with me, take my own written account of what happened with me, there were also physical reminders I could remember, such as Izumi's mask and cloak. With her gone, I was now the one with the most experience. As I made my way to the portal, I realized that in order to make this mission a success to save everyone, this time I would just have to save myself. Hmm. Am I going to be the man in the cloak now? So you took the mask and the cloak. Oh. And you took over. Huh. And dra dragon manatee save. Dra <laughs> dragon manatee. <laughs> okay. So... I don't even know where we go from here. What do we have to do different? Save the generator? You romance, the you romance the other dragons. Yeah. You have to romance all of them? What, you didn't yeah, because how you else did you that? how else did you know Izumi's name? Who the fuck is she? I... <laughs> like, that's like the obvious next answer. Is how right? else did you know her name, Chrono? We didn't even know it was a obvious girl until we saw her. I don't see how romancing the dragons leads to saving the dragon world, but... I because will do it if we have to. That's maybe, sort of like the typical maybe you, thing, I think. maybe when you go out with Remy, he says something like, "Oh, I have info about something," and you're like, "Huh, that sounds familiar. How do you know that?" And he's like, "Well, time for Dragon Puss." <laughs> since I'm a time traveling, dra I mean, a scientist dragon. I know. <clears throat> we didn't find out what happened to Lorem when he disappeared. Nope. Who should I go after next, Aideen? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Where's Sapphire again? See. Right there, Sapphire Crook. The oh, right, right there. there. Boom. Yeah. Right there. You crook. crook. Oh, look at his arms. Look at his cute little It bothers arms. me so much. <laughs> look at his buff ass arms. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> because love and lust is the answer, Chrono. <laughs> okay, I guess I can't argue with that. What's the matter? Thank you. What's the matter? <laughs> Angels with scaly wings. <laughs> Can't go be an angel with scaly wings too. <laughs> he said you'd be an angel with scaly wings too. <laughs> you have seen what lies beneath the mask. Quite revealing, isn't it? Mm. You've seen your first good ending. Yeah. Really, that's a good one, huh? Well, you've Bryce seen Bryce's good, good ending. Killing his best friend was Bryce's good ending. Oh, Murder. <laughs> wow. We had no choice. Oh, there he is. Yay. There he is. <laughs> there so he is. Him and the gun. Mm -hmm. so I guess they just take up the space here. Yeah. So, um, all right. We're about at the uh, two hour mark again. I can stop the stream for tonight. <clears throat> and I can stream some other night. Uh, what's the next time? I have Sundays and Mondays and Thursdays off. Today's Monday, though. Yep. And I'm streaming Golden Sun on Thursday. Yeah. So Sunday or Monday. So either next Sunday or Why Monday. Do it um, Wednesday night. Wednesday night? Yeah. What about you, Shoji? What's, what days are good? Uh, pretty much any day. <laughs> also, any day just after Friday night, 6? Because you go in yeah. late and I go in late on, on uh, Saturdays. So okay. We could do Friday night as well. Okay. Uh, well, Wednesday would be the next non-stream night. So we could do that couple days from now All right. and we can yeah, continue be, the game yeah i'll be available yes. i just work until like six ish and then i got nothing to do all right well yeah uh we'll oh, get wait, in contact with you then i don't get home till one though <laughs> you don't get home till one on, one on wednesday oh then, then yeah. we can't do that i don't then. know what i'm thinking yeah what are you thinking i forget that i have a shit what are you schedule? thinking okay um <clears throat> never mind so sunday i guess so i'm yeah. so sad now also Friday could also work if you wanted to do Friday. Friday would have to be like very late though. She gets home at yeah. 1 a.m., which yeah, is like 11 night. your time. Okay. I mean, I'm off on Saturdays. So I mean, I could do that if you wanted to do it that late. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> all right. It, it might be a very, very late stream on uh, Friday. We can see. Hang on. Wait a minute. Friday? No, that's when I'm streaming Dragon Ball. Oh, is unless that well, I could stream that during the day, and then when she gets home, I could stream. Yeah. Okay, we could do that. It's just gonna be a big streaming day, I guess, when for me. Get home, after I get home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's gonna yeah. be a it's gonna be Planning a big. Planning is hard. But Mon Hunt Friday. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm not Mon playing Monster Hunter on PS4. Dragon Balls. Dragon. Yeah, Dragon yeah, yeah, Ball. yeah. I mean, we're playing Dragon Ball right now. <laughs> so yeah, Thursday I'm going to be doing Golden Sun, Friday Dragon Ball Fighters, and then late, late that night, uh, Angels Scaly Wings, unless you want to wait till Sunday. Yeah. Eh, whatever. It's either three days or five days away. Just we can see whatever happens. Yeah, okay. Well, we won't make any solid plans right now, but we're thinking about it. Anyway, more stream okay, soon. Go to gallery? Yeah. Oh boy. I'm afraid. We only <laughs> get this one. Huh. Oh, I think those are like custom ones. I don't remember that. Huh. I don't think it shows it. Or, it's like, not from the story. Oh, okay. I was like... Maybe I unlocked this from his good ending? Oh, okay. Maybe, yeah, I think so. Right, That's a like, lot of fucking I was, endings. I was thinking it was going to be all the CG. Yeah. yeah, you wanted to see the wine bottle. <laughs> I know what you <laughs> wanted to see. <laughs> anyway, we're going to stop the stream. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, everybody that watched, bye-bye. Thank you. Have a good night or Bye. morning, whenever you're watching. Bye bye. Don't make faces. You're making faces. <laughs>